Hi, this is Sarah at SEPH Custom Furnishings. I am today working on a real treat. It is a Globe Wernicke three quarter barrister's bookcase complete with drawer and bottom. Modular furniture before there was such a thing as modular furniture. How about that? So I have cleaned this piece. I mean, take a look at the before picture. It needed a little work. I have cleaned this piece. It needs to be cleaned again. We're going to go ahead and do that one more time using some Dawn and some dish soap, a little bit of water, a scrubby cloth. Stay right away from that sticker. Don't want to damage that at all. How do you get into those corners? Well, to get into the corners, you want to use dentist tools, you can use my favorite that I'll be using today, Q-tips. They work great. You can see it's not a whole lot that seems to be coming off. It looks pretty good, but look, do you see the, the grime on that thing? That's after it's been cleaned. We want to make sure that this is all the way, 100% crystal clean before we start working with finishes or anything like that. So I'm just going to get those edges and then we're going to use the Q-tip a little. Just the old thing, you know. Get that a little bit soapy. Go right along those corners. See how it gets right into that crack and crevice? And pulls all of this out of there. Here, I'm going to show you on this other corner exactly how that works. That is not something we want left on the bookcase. So we're gonna do these edges and the corners around the edges. We'll do the brass in a little while. That'll be a different technique. Right now, we're just gonna get it all the way clean. And we're gonna clean the metal including the metal that hooks the barrister bookcase door, that famous door right on. Check this out, it's kind of cool actually. I'm gonna bring this down so you can see. See, it hooks in to this little hook back here, like so. And then it hooks onto the doors in the front. And it has felt on the edge of each door giving it a nice, sweet, soft close. It's really a very cool design. Now we have this piece nicely cleaned. Cool. It's beautiful, yep, it is yeah. cool. That's my son. That's my daughter. <laughs> so we're gonna use, this is called Restore Finish by Howard. What I don't wanna do is take away any of the patina from the original piece. I want very, very much for all of that character and age to remain. So I'm going to use something that conditions the wood, helps the finish, doesn't take away from it. Now let me see if I can get this adjusted so that you can really see what it'll do. It will just pull all the richness out of this wood. Condition the wood. Bring it back to its natural glory without changing anything about it. So I don't want to change this. It was made really well in the first place. And you can see it pulls a little bit more of the dirt off that I couldn't get with the soap, but primarily what we're working with there is the finish. Watch what it'll do to that top corner. 
Oh, and Howard is not paying me for this or anything like that. It's just my own preference on uh, refinishing product. You can use whatever makes your heart happy. This one makes my heart happy. Same thing, I'm gonna use some of those Q-tips to get into the corners. You don't wanna miss any of the bits, not really any of them. This wood has been around for a long time. It needs to be deeply conditioned. This is a really high quality piece. I intend for it to remain that for a long, long time to come. You can see, just pull that glorious richness right out of that wood. Check that out. Looks polished and new, doesn't it? Now, the undercoated, or the underpiece here, what I'm talking about is this. This is a mount that the other drawers will sit right on top of. It doesn't particularly need to be done. It doesn't. It's fine. It's just a piece of wood that helps the stability of the piece. It is original. But when I do a piece, I do the top, I do the bottom, I do the back, I do the sides. If that outside wood needed to be conditioned, I figured this does too. So I want it all to have a good finish and not be thirsty. I'm going to scoot the hanger back out of my way all the way to the back. We'll treat that metal just the same sweet conditioning as the wood, but we're going to do the wood first. Give this a nice coating top and bottom, all the sides. Like I say, make sure you get into all your corners. What you're doing here is helping the wood to maintain its quality and strength over time. Just like dry skin peels, dry wood chips. If you see that there's a spot that's chipped, like where somebody wrote bottom here. <laughs> see if you can see that there. See? You want to make sure and get all the way inside of that spot as well. No part of this cabinet is going to be ignored. Not any part of it. That's how we make sure it behaves like new. Not only looks like new, but behaves like new whoever enjoys it next. The wood we're working with here, by the way, is called tiger oak. That's that stripy consistency on the side. You can see it. I'm gonna pick you up. You can see it here. Tigery uh, stripiness in the grain and on the corner on the edge. That's tiger oak. Ooh, it's pretty stuff. Really, really like it when the, I get the opportunity and the privilege to work on a really high quality piece. So much fun. It's my little zen. It's like my version of a stone garden. <laughs> Does this part really matter? Like I say, helps with the quality long term. I think it shows respect to the piece. Just to make sure you get all of the bits everywhere. To make sure you're not going to ignore any parts of the piece. Make sure they're all properly finished. Right now I'm doing this edge over here. This is a step.
stop for the doors, make sure that, that they don't go back and bang on the back. But it's still felt on the top of the doors as well, but that's a stopper that protects those doors on the inside. So what we've just done is make this piece a whole lot prettier without a whole lot of work. I mean, like I say, it's a really good quality piece, but when you take something from rough and scratchy and dull to bright and happy and shiny, that's pretty much my happy day. Thanks, guys. There will be more about this later. Have a great one. Like, subscribe.